Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I've had a lot of you compliment me on my red bottom nails. So in today's video, I thought I would show you guys how I achieve the signature look. And the best thing about Glam and Glitz powders is it makes it a breeze. Today's video is gonna be fun, so I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. Okay everybody, so today I'm gonna to be doing my own nails and we had quite a few requests for the red bottom nails. So I will be showing you guys how I did those. I'm going to be using Glam and Glitz Mood Effect Acrylics, White Knight and No Regrets. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my e-file with a light sanding band and I'm going to file off the shine of my nails. So now I'm gonna dust off any extra dust that's on my nails and get ready for my next step. So now I'm gonna go in with my bond and I'm gonna apply it to the natural nail. So now I'm gonna go in with my primer and I'm gonna apply that to the natural nail. For this look, I like to use forms on my nails just so I can see the color at the bottom of the nail. Okay, so for my first color, I'm going to be using the No Regret from Glam and & Glitz, and it's a Mood Effect acrylic, so this is gonna change color with temperature. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is pick up a bead of my No Regret, and I'm gonna apply that to the free edge, and I'm gonna sculpt my tip. And right now when I'm doing the underneath color, I'm not really worrying about my thickness around the apex area because we're gonna get to that when we do our top color. Right now you're just gonna want an even thickness just so we get that color underneath the nail. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this color dry before I apply my next color. So the next color I'm gonna be using is White Knight. And this is also a mood effect color from Glam & Glitz. This is gonna look really cool. So now with this bead, I'm gonna start at the cuticle area and I'm gonna work my way down. I wanna make sure I pick up a good size amount so I can cover as much area as I can. So when you're doing the cover bead, you wanna make sure that your bead is not too dry. You want it pretty malleable so that you can move it and cover the red. The more liquid you have in your bead, the more time you have to work with it. So I'm just gonna keep pushing this down so I can encapsulate the entire nail. Now one of the best things I love about Glam & Glitz acrylic is they're so pigmented that you do not have to encapsulate with clear acrylic. I can just put my colors on my nail and then do my filing and all the colors gonna stay there. Now I'm gonna look down the side of my nail where my apex should be and I'm gonna put a bead of acrylic right there. And then I'm gonna use my brush to feather down the tip of the bead and also push the top of the bead towards the cuticle and feather that in as well. Now the more you work with this acrylic, the more control you will have and it will eliminate a lot of filing time. So while I'm waiting for this nail to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat all these steps on my other nail. Okay, so now that these are dry, I'm gonna go in with my file and I'm gonna shape and buff these. Okay, so now that I'm done filing and shaping my nails, I'm gonna go in with my favorite top coat. It's Kara Sky Non-Wipe Top Coat. The thing I like about this is it doesn't leave a sticky layer when it's done curing. As soon as it comes out of the light, you're good to go. So now I'm just gonna finish up with some cuticle oil and I like to use Kara Sky Nourish Oil. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. It was so much fun for me to do for you guys. So now all of us can have red bottom nails. Totally awesome. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.